Hi everyone, my name is Janelle and I am a teen associate with Tulsa City County Library and also a member of the High School Sequoia Master List Reading Team. And I'm very pleased to introduce you to this wonderful book, A Forgery of Roses by Jessica S. Olson. Now in this book, Myra is a prodigy, which means that she is an artist who can heal people magically through her paintings. But prodigies are considered by many to be abominations. So while she works as an apprentice at a portrait shop, she's also forced to hide her identity to keep herself safe and also employed so that she can continue to care for her sister Lucy, who has some sort of gastrointestinal disease. Well, one day, Mrs. Harris, the governor's wife, comes into the portrait shop and she brings her poodle. And she wants a portrait made of her dog. Well, Myra paints the dog, but she cannot help herself from healing the dog's broken leg. And so she heals the poodle's leg, makes him all better, and suddenly Mrs. Harris knows her secret. And she issues Myra an ultimatum. Either Myra goes to the governor's mansion to try to paint and heal Will, who is Mrs. Harris's son who died when he fell off of a balcony, or she will tell everybody about Myra's identity. And so Myra doesn't really have a choice. To protect herself and her sister, she decides to go to the governor's mansion to try to bring Will back to life. But after several unsuccessful attempts at painting him back to life, she begins to think that there might actually be more behind his death than meets the eye. And then the more that she learns about who Will was from her old, his older brother, August, the more that she th thinks that maybe Will's death wasn't actually an accident. Maybe there's something bigger at play. And so she teams up with August to try to figure out the real story behind Will's death. This is a fantasy and a mystery book, and it would be great on either of those displays or on displays featuring characters with chronic illness or anxiety. Some read-alikes for this book are An Enchantment of Ravens by Margaret Rogerson, which also features another portrait painter, or A Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare, which also has some dark and supernatural setting, or The Companion by Katie Allender, which is another book with a creepy mansion full of secrets and some gothic tones. So that's all about A Forgery of Roses. I hope you enjoy. Thanks.